everyone, today I'm going to show you how to seam your buttons onto your sweater. I already seamed a bunch of my buttons on and all you need is a darning needle, your yarn, and a button. So first you're going to want to flip your work over and we need to secure our yarn. And if you're not sure how to even get your yarn through your needle, because this needle is pretty thin, because my buttonhole's thin, you want to fold your yarn over and just insert it into the little space there and pull it through. All right, and now we're going to want to secure our yarn very close to where our button's going to be on the other side. And to do that, we're just going to first put our needle into a stitch, pull it through, and you're gonna leave a little end right there for seaming later. Then we're gonna go through that stitch again, pull it through. We're not done here because if you do this, if you pull hard, um, this little end can come through. So again, we're gonna insert our needle into that same stitch. We're gonna keep pulling and you're gonna have this little loop here. Insert your needle back in to that little hoop and pull through. And we created a knot. Okay, so now we are going to just basically find where you want your uh, button to go and insert your hook or insert your needle from the bottom to the front. So the wrong side to the right side, like that. Put your yarn onto your button. Your button can look different. This just has one little hoop here. Okay. And then now, once your yarn is through your button, you're going to put your needle from the right side of your work to the wrong side and pull, pull it through. There, I'm gonna also remove my stitch marker. Okay, and then you just are gonna wanna do the same thing. So you're gonna insert from the wrong side to the right side. Oop, mine's a little far away. Put it into your button, pull it through, insert from the right side to the wrong side. You can do this like a few more, a few more times. Just like this. All right, my button's pretty secure. You can do that as many times as you want um, and you can test it by like pulling on your button. My button feels rather secure. So now this is how I like to end my button seaming. You can just, you know, seam your yarn along the back however you want. You can sew it in a few times like so and then I like to knot my yarn a few times. Don't pull too hard for the first knot and the second knot because you can actually scrunch up your yarn. So on my third knot, I'm gonna pull it really tight. Okay, you can seam in your ends here. I like to do that and maybe knot once more. As you can see, I've knotted this button this button and I'm going to seam in these ends and then maybe knot them once more. Um, I like to split individual pieces of fiber if possible once I'm done seaming it in and knot it. Um, and that makes your yarn extra secure and it will not come out. And that is how you can sew on buttons to your button band.